chicharron. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit on the harder side of things and it looks a bit dry. I'm not sure if that's how it typically comes on out, but I'm also gonna go like this. I'm gonna stick it into the plantain and just go for it all at once as I feel like that's probably how you eat the mofongo. What's up everybody? Welcome to the capital of the Dominican Republic. I am in Santo Domingo and today we're gonna be getting our hands on some traditional Dominican food for the very first time. I've actually never tried anything Dominican before in my life, so I'm really excited to see what this cuisine has to offer and what exactly is Dominican food. So if you're interested on joining me here in Santo Domingo, I hope you got nice hungry bellies. Let's get this video started. Just sat down at this restaurant called Grand's Cafeteria and Bar. Turns out that this place has actually been open since 1967 and it's a fan favorite here in the city. It's open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year and the menu looks incredible. There's a lot of different options. I'm definitely gonna go with the mango because I haven't tried that yet. So the mango special is actually 350 pesos and I'm of course gonna have a nice juice with that for 130 pesos. ¿Qué me recomiendas de platos típicos? ¿El mango? Hay mango. Sí. Con huevo, queso, salami, los tres golpes le dicen. Los tres golpes. Mm -hmm. Ok, dame unos tres golpes pues. Ok. <laughs> Ah, los jugos de melón. Sí, natural. Natural, gracias. Salud. Salud. Oh, wow. That is perfect. There are no words. Yeah, it's almost like a, I don't know, I feel it like almost like a frappe style. They have some ice in there. It's super fresh, so good. And with this heat, man, this Caribbean heat, you need a nice fruit juice, man. It just does something to your body. Am I right or am I right? This is the spot. It hits the spot. So the mango has just made it out and it looks and smells incredible. This here is fried cheese. We got an egg, some sausage, and the mango, which is a smashed plantain, almost like a mashed potato, but a mashed plantain with some grilled onions up top. Looks and smells incredible. Time for us to dive on into the mango. Now, I'm not really sure exactly how to eat this dish. I'm not sure if you mix a little bit of everything onto one bite full or if you eat it all separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the mango on its own first. Oh man. That, that is super, super delicious. Now let's go ahead and try some of this fried cheese as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge cheese eater, but I do love anything fried. So let's go ahead and try this. Mm. Okay. Yo, that is nothing to play with. That fried cheese is dangerous. Now, I don't really need to try the egg because we all know what egg tastes like. Let me try this sausage. Wow. Honestly, super delicious. I'm quite impressed on how many different variations of the plantain they have here in the Dominican Republic. They literally make everything out of plantain, which is quite impressive. I definitely approve of it. I'm gonna go ahead and try a bit now with the onion and maybe even a little bit of the cheese. Let's try a little bit of the cheese on there as well and see what, what happens. Now, I could be just inventing all kinds of weird ways to eat this. Who knows? Nobody's gonna know, but nobody can say that this is a bad decision either. Mm. Okay. I'm not gonna lie with you, or to you. That was good, but I prefer them separate. I'm not gonna lie, I think the, the plantain with the fried cheese is a little too much for the same bite, but separately, wow, incredible. This cheese, I'd love to know exactly what kind of cheese this is. It is to die for. And I love how it's nice and thin. In Venezuela, for example, that's one of the things I had troubles eating was the cheese because every time you order cheese, it came out like a, a slab like this thick. And man, it was really, really hard to go down. So yeah, I definitely approve of this fried cheese. The plantain is amazing. Sausage is A1, man. 
definitely need to get your hands on some mangu at least once in your life. Let's make our way over to the next restaurant. So we just made it into our second restaurant on today's adventure. This place is called the Luis Pariada. Pretty hard for me to say, but it looks like we came to the right spot, man. It's really active. There's a lot of energy, a lot of typical foods on the menu. Now, I'm actually going to be trying the mofongo right now. Now, I'm not too sure what the mofongo consists of, but according to the menu, it's a traditional dish here in the Dominican Republic, and it's served on top of a mashed plantain with guanitos verdes and chicharón de cerdo. And entonces, yeah, it sounds really, really good. I think that's definitely the right choice. And it's only 389 pesos, so around nine US dollars for an amazing traditional meal. And as I mentioned, the atmosphere is perfect. The tables are full, so you know we're at the right place. And all of the dishes are pretty good priced as well. The most expensive here on the menu is about 579. I'm with the right group of people. The first thing they order is beers. Look at these, two presidentes. This is a local Pilsner from here in Santo Domingo. And man, the locals love it. And I think I love it too. It's not bad, it's not bad. So Presidente is one of the more typical beers here in the Dominican Republic. The locals love it. I try, I must say. It doesn't always work out. It's not strong at all. It's more like a it's more like a very very cold more expensive version of a water. It's nice. It's pretty good. Definitely not um, one of the favorite beers I've had around Latin America in general. But it doesn't go bad, especially with the vibes. The vibes are perfect. So many different locals here. Here comes the food. So the food just made it out. This chicharron looks amazing. This here is the mashed plantain, which I've never seen before. Quite interesting, and they gave me some salsa. Now, there is a lot of music going on. The atmosphere is insane. Right now, they're actually singing happy birthday. A table behind us. This is the kind of place you want to step into to get your hands on some Dominican food. Now, this smells incredible. We all got different dishes. What a place. Let's dive on in. So the mafongo just showed up and it's right in front of me. The only problem is I'm not really too sure how to how quite to eat it. So I think we need some help. Let's see if we can get one of the waiters over here to show us exactly how to prepare the mafongo and not eat it wrong. Permiso, ¿cómo se come la, la, el, este plato, el mofongo? ¿Cómo se come? Es el plato remajado con chicharrón. ¿Pero lo, lo pones con el chicharrón? Tiene el chicharrón adentro. Entonces eso se come separado. El plato, aquí. Ah, ok. Y este por encima. Acima. Y después el chicharrón con el al lado. Wow, super cool, gracias. Now that we got some help, I think we can actually tackle this at task. Now, I didn't know that the plantain you actually had to mash, super cool. So, what you guys didn't see is I actually made a mess with the first one. Now, they brought me another one out on the house, which is really nice at a lot of restaurants, especially in Latin America, man. You drop the food, you're gonna pay for that food. So, um, really nice that they did that. Now that we got the plantain on the table with the salsa, I think it's time to give this a fair shot. Now, the chicharron, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit on the harder side of things and it looks a bit dry. I'm not sure if that's how it typically comes on out but i'm also gonna go like this i'm gonna stick it into the plantain and just go for it all at once as i feel like that's probably how you eat the mafungo a little bit of everything per bite for oh man that is some good stuff i love an, a, i love anything chicharron especially fried pork Chicharron de cerdo is incredible. The plantain, it's super nice. It's kind of like a tostone in Venezuela or Colombia. However, more mashed, not like fried and hard. It's really, really delicious. I love the salsa that you put on top. Not really too sure what the base is, um, but yeah, super delicious, so flavorful. The only thing I'm not gonna lie, the salad looks a little bit more on the rougher side of things, but 
definitely gonna go down the same hole just as good as everything else we've been trying here so far. So this meal was absolutely incredible. Definitely the great way to really ease on into this typical food video here in the Dominican Republic. Now, we're actually about to get cleaned up here. I left a disaster and man, I must say that meal was a solid seven out of 10. It wasn't my favorite, but it was good. I feel like if it was, um, I don't know, if there was a lot more sauces that they had to offer for the plate, I feel like that would have definitely uh, changed the tempo, but a solid, a solid seven out of 10. So we just made it to this restaurant right here across the plaza, the only place we could find open. And man, I'm not even gonna lie, the menu looks bomb. They got all kinds of different breakfasts, some comida tipica, seafood plates, meats. This seafood looks incredible, the lamb a la criolla, wow. But look at this, the options they have for the, the for typical Dominican food is pescado al coco, sancocho dominicano, asopado. So many typical Dominican dishes, I think I'm gonna have to go with the sancocho that I've heard nothing but amazing things about. Now, I love the atmosphere of this restaurant. It's definitely one of those touristic spots, but man, the vibes are right. It's beautiful. They're playing some merengue. I'm definitely digging it. I just ordered my sancocho and a Coca-Cola, but I was also just told that there is another very traditional dish that I have to try before moving on to the next location. They said they have the best. It's called a bandera. So I'm gonna order one of those. I'm not still, I'm still deciding between the pork, the chicken, or the beef. Let's see which one I make happen. So I think the first thing I'm gonna try is the meat. Look at how incredibly juicy that looks. It looks extremely tender, and I love that they put onions and all kinds of different peppers up top. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and try the meat by itself and then with rice, as I would probably eat this plate. Okay. Mm. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, my camera just got done informing me that my card space was full and I pulled a real amateur move this morning and moved my cards into my locker. So, right after this, I'm gonna go back and pick up some cards to continue on with this amazing footage that I've been bringing you guys. But for now, GoPro it is. Now this uh, meat is absolutely insane. It's not as um, soft or tender as I thought it would be. It's more, yeah, it's a little bit chewier, but I like it, I like it a lot. I love the seasoning up top. I'm gonna go ahead and try it now with some rice. <laughs> That is definitely how you eat this dish. So, I must say, I give this plate a solid 10 out of 10. It is delicious. Definitely have to try it when here in Santo Domingo. Now let's wait for the Sancocho, which man, we've been waiting a very long time. If you happen to sit down here at this restaurant and you're in a rush, don't come here because you're gonna be sitting here for like at least an hour waiting for your soup. Wow, gracias. Wow, esto se ve divino. ¿Qué trae adentro? De todo. De todo. Okay. Sancocho has just arrived. This looks insane. It looks like we got some plantain in there. What is this? Yuca. Some meat. Wow, this is bomb. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This is actually quite affordable as well. There are so many different restaurants here on the strip, but for its location, right in front of the plaza, it is quite affordable. This main dish of the bandera was 385, and I mean, it is a massive plate. It is very, very filling. And the sancocho was 360. So definitely not too bad at all. And I really love the, uh, the portions. The portions are definitely generous amounts of food. Typically, when you sit down in touristic locations, such as this one, anywhere else in the world, oftentimes you get like, you know, half the service and it's pretty, pretty bad quality stuff. Here, I don't see that at all. The vibes are perfect, the staff is very attentive, but the Sancocho did take a bit long. So I think we're gonna dive on into this. I think the way that I'm actually gonna do this one 
is to pour a little bit on top of the rice and try it with the rice. Yo creo que voy a probar el sancocho así con un poco de juguito y el arroz junto. Mm. Wow. That is delicious. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the broth tastes a bit more on like the gravy -er side of things. It's really nice, but it tastes like like a gravy that you put on mashed potatoes in my opinion, but a lot less like, not as thick. It's definitely on the watery side of things. Yeah, a very strong like gravy taste. Now let's try some of the yuca. Mm. Okay, this is amazing. This is definitely one of the better soups I've had in my lifetime. I love it. Still definitely in a tough competition between the um, the Jurek soup in, in Poland. That's still one of my favorites, hands down. Let's try this thing. I'm not too sure what this is. So that was actually yuca as well, very delicious. So yeah, this dish consists of mainly yuca and meat. The meat looks really, really nice as well. Overall, I think the soup is a, is a 10 out of 10 as well. It is very delicious, extremely good. I love the beef. And just like that, we're gonna be wrapping up today's food adventure here in the Dominican Republic. I know that there was plenty more dishes that I forgot to try on this trip, but please, Leave them down in the comment section as a recommendation so that next time I'm here in the area, I can definitely get my hands on them. Now, I'm not even gonna lie, everything I tried was pretty damn good, so it was a successful day. As you know, there's sometimes I end up in some countries where the cuisine isn't all that great. However, here, that is definitely not the problem. The Dominican people know exactly what they got going on in the kitchen, and the food is nothing to play with. So as I mentioned, please, let me know down in the comment section what I need to try next time. Let me know which part of the video was your favorite, which dish looked more amazing than others. And I'll see you guys soon for another incredible adventure, which will probably be from the United States as that is where I'm heading to tomorrow morning. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. You were always